Hello everyone, thank you very much for joining me. So I thought I would check in tonight and see how the process of expanding your consciousness is going and I have a few things to add to the equation that I think you will find interesting and valuable. So let's, uh, let's get into that. So when we wake up and we begin the ascension process, our guides have a lot of fun with that period. They can put us in front of a lot of different teachers and you know what they're doing is getting us to absorb as many different perspectives as possible. So every time you absorb or consider a new perspective, you grow because you've opened up new pathways within yourself that weren't there before. Pathways that you couldn't necessarily acquire from the current state of consciousness that you are resonating at. After that initial searching phase, turn inward you start to study yourself, you start to identify the unconscious intelligences that have been working behind the scene the entire time. You make those intelligences consciousness and every time you do, you increase the capacity for what you can hold in your awareness. This is how the masters became whole again. They knew the systems of the universe they knew the support systems for those who have incarnated and they understood the relationship with the parts. That process of integrating and recalling fragmented aspects of yourself is so important, but where most people are stalling is that they are unwilling to detach from some things that have been taking up space in their awareness. So I went into the Akashic Records and I asked the question, what is a secret to ascending that most people are getting wrong? And the answer came back very clearly. The secret to ascension is detachment. Detachment from people, detachment from places, detachment from things, all of it. Um, you cannot take with you to those higher dimensional planes what doesn't belong there or what is not ready to be there. So, you know, a lot of people are having struggles detaching from their circumstance because that circumstance has defined them so thoroughly that they don't know who they are without it. And the thought of entering in the unknown without that story is really scary. So we stay in our comfort zone and, you know, we work the puzzle in whatever way we can but there may be things in your reality that are taking space that, you know, don't really need to be there. So, you know, responding to that, my question was, but what about the people we love? What about the things that we love? Um, are we minimizing our relationship and our experience with those pieces of creation when we detach from them? And the answer I got back was no, it's actually the opposite. When you let go of attachment, you open yourself up to experiencing and appreciating those things that you love more freely. The entire goal of attachment or detachment is to let go of the ego and its need to control. And when you do that, all the appreciation and love that you have to express within you is amplified because you can do it unconditionally. But it does, you know, it gets confusing when the message is we need to let go, we need to let go, we, we need to let go because the mind will play games with that and it will say if I let go then I am losing things that are important to me or I am minimizing the role that those things have played in my story. But it's the opposite. Um, it gives you more space and more freedom to bless those things in your reality that you love and adore and appreciate. So if you want to expand your consciousness and if you want to do it at a comfortable pace, put yourself in a position to learn, study yourself and study the universe, become the ultimate teacher and student of those aspects of creation. If you want to expand your consciousness, start building the foundation of a relationship with your subconscious mind. Start communicating consciously with your intuition, letting it know that you're ready, willing, and able to receive the guidance and follow through with what is being shown. Your cellular structure 
and the cells within it are all conscious intelligence that you can communicate with. Who else do you know that's doing that? Who do you know that communicates with their cells as if they are an entire separate entity? Um, you know, it's not very common and you are one who has been given the task of trailblazing and, you know, normalizing things that your, your everyday person would consider to be abnormal. There is a team within you, and I'm not talking about the guides, the, the archangels, and the higher selves. I'm talking about those who are serving a purpose on your behalf within this dimensional space, who are ready, willing, able, and excited about the potential of you coming to the realization that they're there working on your behalf. And that is very exciting to them. So when you think about it, your intuition is excited and anticipating the idea of working with you closer. Your innate body is excited about collaborating with you about the health of your physical body. Your cells are begging to hear you say hello to them, clear enough for them to understand and receive it. Detach from the story that is so important to you Shift your perspective to one that is outside looking in and observe everything that's going on without judgment and you have officially become your higher self. Anyway, thank you very much you guys. Um, if you're interested, I have a contribution membership here with YouTube. If you want to inquire about one of my services, um, I would love to chat with you about it. Thank you very much. Goodbye.